Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and possibly the worst condition radio that I've ever bought. Even worse than the audio line 341 from many, many episodes ago. So I saw this on eBay and I saw the condition it was in and thought, yeah, this is definitely going to be a challenge. Now, this is untested and in quite bad condition so let's unwrap it and have a look now as you can see yeah it's in quite bad condition but I'm hoping that all this is just visual and the insides are going to be okay. So, yeah, I didn't really want to touch it because I didn't know where it had been. As you can see holes in the top. We've got a, some sort of quick release mechanism. The microphone is absolutely filthy. So let's have a closer look. So you can see that this is a Lafayette HB 940 AM FM 120 channel radio. with an extremely dirty but original microphone. We should be able to salvage that. So we'll put the microphone off to one side for the moment. We'll deal with that later. Let's have a look at the radio itself. So let's get the lid off, put those to one side. see what it's actually like inside so there's all our case screws out and let's get this lid off and on first look there seems to be no nasty surprises in there. So that's looking promising. At least there's something inside the radio. On the component side. Everything looks okay. So, I think we might actually be on to a winner with this one. Okay, let's have a good look inside the radio. If you playing along at home, we have a 2SC2050 output and a nice PLL 02AG PLL chip. And everything looks factory and original. So let's get this front off. Get everything off that needs to be cleaned. And for you playing along at home, we have a PTBM 106 AOX board. Okay, channel change has a screw in it. So we'll undo that. Put that to one side for cleaning. Now this does look like the Barracuda or the Sapphire, but it's not. You see, I think some spiders have been living in there. Yeah, 
remove the first part of this quick release and these were really really tight I couldn't unscrew them with a screwdriver so I had to resort to a wrench to free them off these were really 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 tight we're not going to be using this quick release so this is going in the bin and there's some of the original paint I don't know whether this rust has happened because it's been left somewhere damp or who knows but yeah the case is in a pretty bad way so we're gonna have to fill those holes in and do something with this rust so let's get rid of a bit of this dirt from the front bit of cleaner on the signal meter that cleans up well okay let's go to work on this front so a nice healthy application of some foam cleaner and a brush as always This should get rid of the grime that's on the front. So we'll give it a good scrubbing down with the brush. I think it's looking better already. And a second go over with some foam cleaner and now a cloth. And it's actually starting to shine again. Very nice. So apart from a few marks on the paintwork, it's not actually that bad. Might have to see if I can get some grey acrylic paint just to touch up a couple of little marks. But a few minutes cleaning, some foam cleaner and a cloth. And we've got this looking as best as we could. I think it's looking considerably better now. So I suppose the next thing to do is power it up. So I'm just checking, make sure the diode's not short. Protection diode seems to be okay. Now I did notice one strange thing inside this, is that the red and black wires there are actually reversed. As you can see I'm touching my probe onto the, the metal work. And the red seems to be black and the black seems to be the positive. So they've got the wires reversed inside. How strange. But anyway, it's just a standard unit M plug. So let's power it up. And it comes on. No segments are missing. I 
okay let's check for power output and frequency just do a quick test yeah, nice healthy 10 watts a little bit low on frequency low bands definitely a bit lower than lower than it should be but apart from that we've got a nice 10 watts and it's near enough on frequency we'll get it on the proper counter later Receipt received on my other radio seems to be okay. Let's do a receive test on this radio. Volume control's a bit scratchy, so it's going to need a bit of switch cleaner. So I'll fire up the other radio. And it helps if you put it onto FM. Okay, receives working. Channel six mid band, super bowls coming in. The AM FM switch is a bit dirty there. And you eagle eye people may notice that the signal meter is not working but we are receiving nicely so all the switches on the front are going to need a good switch cleaning we'll have to sort out this signal meter that yeah, seems to be working well up to now Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode where we carry on the restoration and repairs. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.